I've got a haul to share with you guys today. Um, it's really windy outside, so if you hear some banging, that's like the window because it's really, really windy outside. And then if you hear like some ruckus, those are my kitties that are wreaking havoc in the background. <laughs> um, you guys might have seen them in a few of my couple or a couple of my previous videos. Um, the little lift up shots are some little tiny kitties. Those are actually four orphan kitties that I was bottle feeding. Um, they're currently. Uh, eating on their own and again just tearing up the place. <laughs> I also hear you guys on the vlog footage. I've been really short on time but I wanted to get some shots. We currently have two colts on the ground right now um, so I wanted to show them. I wanted to show you guys the kitties. Um, hopefully I can do that soon. I'm just like really short on time. It's a Sunday right now so I'm trying to make the most of it <laughs> but I'm, I really want to try to do that including which I haven't forgot my updated makeup collection I just need the time. But let me get into these items. I did purchase a, a few more products from Pretty Vulgar, which is a new line that Sephora is carrying, and I did a haul video on that. I think it was two videos ago, if you're interested in seeing some more of that. But I did go ahead and purchase their, um, it's called The Ink, and it is a gel eyeliner. It's super cute. It's a 0.2 ounce tub of liner, and I just noticed, I don't know if because it's kind of warm in here, but the, um, the seal right here, this was lifting right here and I had to press it back on like the glue or whatever. I do like the liner. It's really creamy and it's easy to apply. It lasts really well on my eyes. One of the things it sold me on it is it was supposed to be conditioning for the skin, which I do wear a relatively thick eyeliner, so I kind of like that factor about it. It's very very dark and opaque, but it does take a little bit to dry. Um, I still think I'm going to go ahead and order the brown one because I do like um, that skin conditioning factor about it. Um, and I did order the double ended brush. Um, I'm not crazy about the brush. This is the eyeliner right there. It's like a pot of black eyeliner. Super cute packaging. I like my Hakuhoto liner brushes a little bit better. I just used this yesterday. I didn't use the angled end. I used the uh, pointed end. Um, so I was hoping that this would uh, give me a little bit more of a point, but it's kind of thick. It's not quite as fine as I like uh, a brush to be. Then I purchased one of their glosses, and I got the shade Poisonous Pout 118 Pick Your Poison. And the packaging, it's just... I just really love the packaging. <laughs> the actual top of this guy he has that grippy type of feel, like kind of like NARS packaging. Um, it doesn't really have a, a sweet smell. It just kind of smells like... Um, I don't know, kind of like a gloss, I guess. But that's the shade that I got. And I haven't worn it yet, but it does have a tacky feel to it. Kind of sticky, so. And then I also purchased the Pretty Vulgar Silent Treatment Matte Lip Moisture. And the packaging, again, on this is really cute with the, the flower top like that. I think that I got a faulty packaging because I don't think there's a stopper in here. Because I even tried to dig in the, the cover and think that it was stuck up in the cover, but it it came out like this and there's no there's no stopper so I feel like the they forgot the stopper <laughs> so I'm gonna send this back because it's just gooped up on the wand but then also uh, the number one ingredient in this is dimethicone and I feel like it just it feels nice and kind of slick on the lips but I don't feel like it really nourishes or sinks into my lips it just feels like it's sitting on top so while I do love the packaging like the outside prettiness of the packaging. I don't like that it doesn't have a stopper in there. And then the dimethicone component. So I'm probably going to send that guy back. And then I also got another one of their Make Them Blush blushes in number 13, Mirror Mirror. And this here, it's a, it's a goldeny peachy pink color. It's more pink than NARS Orgasm, but it's along that type of um, line, I guess, in terms of color. I wore this yesterday. It was really pretty. I really like the blushes in this line. So it's got a little bit of a gold shift, but this definitely pulls more pink um, than something like NARS Orgasm. But it does have that golden um, aspect to it. So that one is number 13, Mirror Mirror. Then I had a 20% off coupon at Ulta, and I purchased another bottle of the Prada Candy Kiss perfume, because mine is almost out. So here is the other one. But this fragrance, I got it last spring, I want to say. Was it spring? Spring or summer? 
and I wore it nonstop. I feel like it's just a really uplifting, fresh, summery type of fragrance, and so I purchased another bottle of this at Ulta. And then I also got one of the new Becca bronzers. I originally wanted to swatch the middle shade, but they didn't have the tester there, and they also didn't have any in stock. Um, so I went with the Maui Night Sunlit Bronzer, and I seen this one online, and it has that burnt red tone to it, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too dark. Packaging, the packaging is really pretty. Um, this is this has got shimmer in it. I wore it yesterday. I don't have it on today because I wanted to try out a different bronzer that I purchased because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it or not. But anyway, this is really pretty. This type of tone is right up my alley. It blends out and buffs out really nice. Um, originally, I thought, geez, that's going to be a little bit too dark, but it buffs out really pretty on the skin. It does have little golden shimmers in it, however. So this is the shade Maui Nights, 0.25 ounces of product in there. I wore it yesterday. I love it. So like, it's kind of sticking to that uh, concealer that I had on there, but that's the tone of it. I really like this one. So the other bronzer that I was referring to is one by Guerlain. It's part of their summer collection. It's the Terracotta Ultra Shine Shimmer Effect Bronzing Powder. Um, they came out with two in this type of packaging. One is matte and one is shimmer. I got the shimmering version, 0.35 ounces. I wish that it had an um, opening type of a lid instead of a tin that pops all the way off because it is a little bit difficult to get off. Um, it has a, it has a sh golden shimmer to it and it does show up on the skin. This pulls really golden on my skin. Um, this is the bronzer that I have on today. Buffed out, it does look pretty because the goldenness comes out of it as opposed to so much of the warmth. Um, it has a very strong perfume smell, however, which I'm not nuts about the fragrance that they put in here. Um, it does look pretty on the skin, but I'm, I'm not completely sold on the tone of it. This is what it looks like. You can see it's very golden. Today's the first time that I wore it, but... So it does have a, a nice, you know, it does have that golden shine to it. But I'm not nuts about the packaging. I'm not completely nuts about the tone of it. And I'm definitely not nuts about the fragrance, which typically Guerlain bronzers do have like a fragrance to them. Um, some of them I don't mind. This one I'm not the biggest fan of, but... I always like to collect the Guerlain Summer Bronzers, and this one's fell a little bit short. And usually they do two bronzers um, with each summer collection. So hopefully the other one is a little bit more appealing than this guy, but I, it, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do I need that golden warmth on my skin? Does it look nice? And then I got one of the new MAC Extra Dimension blushes, and I got the shade Into the Pink. I love this blush. It is a cool-toned baby pink. It's got a high shine to it. It's that extra dimension gelée type of formula. And I love it. This is not the one I'm wearing today, but I've been wearing it quite a bit since I purchased it. It's just a really pretty color. I want to get like I want to get like five more shades of this blush. I really love the um finish of the extra dimension blushes from or products in general from MAC. Also from MAC, I got the Iridescent Pressed Powder, the Justine Sky. Box packaging is super pretty. I wish they would have incorporated it into the actual packaging of the product. Um, this is actually darker than what I had seen from swatches online and also just the pictures online when you order off the web, either the MAC website. I've seen it on several different websites and it looked lighter on all of them than it actually does in person. It's showing up very true to color in the viewfinder. Um, it is a little bit darker than I had thought it was going to be. I haven't worn it yet, but when I do, this will definitely be a blush for me. So it's got a, a sheen to it, but it's like a plummy purple. And then naturally, I did purchase the other Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Glow Kit in the Aurora one. And I, I love the Moonchild palette so much that I actually bought a backup of it. I think they made it permanent though, so when I first saw pictures of this on Instagram, um, some of the shades did look like they would be too dark for highlights on my skin tone, but they actually buff out lighter than they look in the pan. Um, one thing to note is all six of these shades do have micro glitters in them, so if you're not into the glitter on your face type of thing, 
um, then you might not like this, but if you really buff them into the skin, the glitter particles kind of don't stick. That's what I found, however, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you. I've worn this uh, quite a few times, actually. And I do like them. I don't like these ones quite as much as the uh, Moon Child, but I do like them. They have just a little bit stronger color undertone um, than the Moon Child. But still, they're really pretty. So you wouldn't think that like this shade would come off, you know, they wouldn't come off that light, but they do. They're pretty and they're fun. And I dig it. I purchased one of the lipsticks from the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Collection. And I got the shade 02 Sun Blush. Um, there were two shades that came out. And I swatched both of them in store. And they're very similar. One has just like a ever so slightly more pinky tone than the other. But they're very, very similar shades. So this is uh, number 2 Sun Blush. I should have wore this today. It's one of those type of shades that would look really pretty with a bronzed up skin. And then Charlotte Tilbury came out with another instant look in a palette, 5 Minute Face on the Glow. And this one is the Beauty Glow palette. And I have her previous two palettes. And I posted a picture on Instagram of all three of them together. And they all have a very similar scheme to them. I feel like if she's going to keep doing these, she needs to spice up the colors a little bit or make the differentiation between them a little bit stronger. Um, I wore this one time. Uh, the face, the bronzers, it's nice. The blush is nice. Uh, the highlighter is too dark for me, but I was really disappointed in the eyeshadows. I like had to really grind my brush in there to get them to pick up on the brush and I had to really pack them on the lid to get them to show up which I've got all of her quads and I don't have a problem with those like I did with um, some of these and this is not a cheap product by any means so I wasn't that impressed with the eye colors um, I did like the cheek colors and the bronzer again the highlighter highlighters a bit too dark for the top of my cheekbones but um, for that kind of price I expected a little bit more from them I'm really gonna try to get you guys some swatches of it but see that I mean that this shade right here was the worst for me that uh, middle eyeshadow shade So those are the three shadows, and I'll do the bronzer, which does have a slight sheen to it, and the highlighter. I'm just, I'm just really not impressed with this guy. And then the two cheek colors, I actually think that this shade would make a prettier bronzer than the actual bronzer. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely think so, but I probably I think that these the cheek products are probably the nicest too, are the ones that I like the best out of the palette. But um, for that kind of money, I'm just really not impressed with it. And also, it is so similar to the other two that she um, released that I don't think it's I just don't think it's worth keeping. For reference, here is the Natural Glow palette right here, and then here's the Beauty Glow palette in terms of shades. And then here's Seductive Beauty and Beauty Glow. The eyeshadow shades are the most different in the Seductive Beauty, but the face products, I mean, there's just a lot of similarities between all three. At least too similar to justify having to have all three. <laughs> also at Ulta, I purchased the Cheek Parade palette from Benefit. Um, I really wanted the California blush, and I just felt like since there were so many full-size products in here, I would get the full-size California in here, and then the new uh, Hula Light bronzer and then I do like Rocketeur and Dandelion so I went this route. Um, I've seen a lot of people grab grab this guy but um, I love this California blush. I like it so much that I'm contemplating getting it in just a single size so I don't have to like if I because I went somewhere I went to Rapid City the past four days and I kind of wanted wished I could bring this along but I didn't want to drag this big palette along. Um, I really love this blush. It's that gelée texture similar to that of the Rock Tour. The other three products in here are typical powder products. Um, Hoola and the new Hoola Light 
they're nice, but they do run quite yellow. Um, which typically you guys know I like something that runs a little bit more burnt and red. But let me go ahead and swatch these. I do have California on today, if I didn't mention that already. And I, ah, this is so pretty on the skin, this California shade. Here's Rock Tour. Swatch these. So pretty. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up getting it in a single form. And then Hula Light and Dandelion. Here's Hula Light and Dandelion. So yeah, like out of all of those swatches, the one that jumps out at me, and I think is the prettiest, is that California shade. It's beautiful. I also placed an order off of the Beautylish website. I saw this compact from Anna Sui and I just had to have it. <laughs> so I purchased the compact because you buy the compact separately and then I purchased three individual uh, shadow or you can use them on the face as well. I think they're eye and cheek colors, but this is the compact. I think it's so pretty. And then inside of here, these are the, you, you buy them uh, separately, but this is there's a mirror and here's the bottom and they magnetize in there. They actually have a blush that fits in half of this so if you wanted to you could put a dual ended blush in there they were like sold out when I went and ordered this because I'd like to put uh, two uh, face colors in here as opposed to eyeshadows but I could get you know put a, a blush in here and then have these three shades but my idea between purchasing these three colors were I could use these for blush and highlighter um, they have a pretty little embossing on them I haven't even swatched them the white shade is a 001 the pink shade is A200, and then the corally orange shade is A300. Let me go ahead and swatch them for you. And there goes the wings. They have a, a smooth texture to them. They do smell of rose though, which quite a bit of Anasui products do. So my idea is two blushes and a highlighter, I guess, because they are called Eye and Cheek. But the compact, though, I'm just living for that. Then I also purchased Kat Von D's new Locket Blotting Powder, which there are I, four, four shades, I believe, that came out. I love the compact. It's, it's one of those wax-like stamp seal type of uh, um, feel to it, which I love. And I got the shade Fair, which is a white. Um, there's 0.28 ounces of product in here. I did, haven't seen it on the website yet, but these are going to be refillable in the... Uh, the powder does come out there's a little hole in the back that you just pop it out with um, this I use to set underneath my eyes and I, it didn't uh, deepen up my concealer I actually gave it a brightening effect to it and I like it as a setting powder under the eyes and then right before I started filming I was a little shiny around like my nose and stuff and so I put this over the top of it and typically or at least a lot of blotting powders when I go to like blot you know the shiny areas it, it'll make that area feel dry and I felt like this didn't do that which is awesome so I don't know is a swatch is a swatch gonna do justice guys yeah so this is the shade fair and there's, um, I believe, fair, light, medium, and dark. And the packaging, like the seal, even comes over the edge, which I think is awesome. Packaging is awesome. I also like that it's refillable so that you don't have to throw away such an awesome compact. And then lastly, I purchased the By Terry Sun Designer palettes. Um, they came out with two of them. It says Summer Edition on the packaging. Here's the box packaging. And then here's the outside of the actual packaging. I did purchase last year's versions and I really like those. Um, they have a very soft consistency to them. So if you really like grind your brush them, you're going to get a lot of product kick up. And they're also really pigmented, which makes them a little bit more susceptible to using too much product because they're pigmented and they pick up very easily on the brush. So you just need like a little bit in there. Um, but they blend out really nice on the skin and I like all the tones of them. So this one right here is number three, Tropical Sunset. Here's the packaging, and then here's the inside. I've used um, I've used both of these, and when I use the bronzer side, I just mix all three together, and then with the blush, I either you know use those two colors together for like a tangerine, or I mix the gold and the pink together, and they're very pigmented uh, products. Those are the, uh, the cheek cap, I guess. 
and then these bronzers. Which again, I just mix them all together and the tone is pretty. So that one is number three, Tropical Sunset. I should also mention that I purchased these off of Derm Store and Derm Store runs coupon codes all the time. So I hit these at a 20% off. So I got 20% off of them. Otherwise, I mean, they're still relatively expensive, but without the 20% off, they're really expensive. <laughs> and I really like these products. Um, For the amount of product that's in here, 0.53 ounces in the entire palette or 15 grams which is a pretty decent amount of product so this one is number four Savannah Love give me some swatches and then these bronzer shades none of the uh, colors in here it would be highlights for me but they might be for a bit deeper skin tone and again I just mix the bronzers together so like but that one is number four Savannah Love so that's everything in my haul for the day I've got a massive mess to clean up <laughs> this entire makeup room is like a tornado hit it you guys want to come help me come help me <laughs> Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.